Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, and in today's video, check this shit out. See, I own Darth Vader right here. Yeah, you see this, right? Freaking own the Dark Lord right there. Now, I go up into the right, and look what I see. Oh, yeah, baby. Hell yeah, hero pickup. That only means one thing, son. Luke Skywalker, freaking Mark Hamill, man. Oh, my gosh. I love this shit, dude. And for all y'all people that haven't played the Battlefront beta yet, dude, go ahead, check it out. It's live through the 12th, October 12th, man, and this shit is awesome. You get to play as Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker. Now check this out, freaking Merc these two dudes. Oh, you can't shoot me, son, you can't shoot, no, you can't shoot uh, Luke Skywalker, son. Oh, Merc this dude, go ahead. Oh, this dude thinks he's gonna be safe. No force choke, bitch. Oh, man, this thing is so freaking awesome. Now, guys, like I said, if y'all haven't played the Battlefront Beta, it's live through the 12th. I really, really want y'all to go play this thing. I mean, this game is freaking fun. Now, I just get this freaking... Oh, my God. He wasn't even paying that freaking attention. But, yeah, when you get this Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader thing, it's like a super power-up you can do. You can become Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. And, dude, you get force powers. You can chunk your lightsaber, stuff like that. And you can even... Go into a one on one battle if you're either Luke or Darth Vader. You can go on a one on one battle with each other, which I almost did right here. As you can freaking see, I get owned by a freaking grenade, man. Oh my gosh. But yeah, guys, here's the actual gameplay playing some Walker Assault. Basically, this game mode is that if you're the good guys, if you're the Rebel Alliance, you'll have to go out and activate these two little radio tower slash things these uh yeah these little radio tower things that will activate the y wings that will come down and <laughs> start shooting start uh deactivating the camels um uh, the camel walkers uh shield so you can start shooting it and destroy it but yeah if you're playing as the imperials oh look at luke skywalker oh, someone else got the power up <laughs> go ahead dude but yeah, and you basically have to destroy these uh, camel things. You know, the camels, like, from freaking uh, Star Wars. Yeah, the freaking Rebel Walkers. The Imperial Walkers, my bad. But yeah, I've been liking this beta so far. So far, I like this Walker Assault. I like the pod thing where you have to go and collect the pods. But that single player, man, that single player was a little too easy and a little... It's really repetitive. Like, the single player was really, really repetitive. But the multiplayer, on the other hand, is freaking amazing. Now, as you can see, the graphics are freaking awesome. You can walk around in these giant walker things. Oh, my God. These things are fucking annoying. But don't worry. Take that dude out with a freaking grenade anyway. I didn't even know I got that grenade kill. I just, I just got lucky. But, yeah, guys, my favorite thing about this beta so far are those freaking supers. I mean, not just the Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader supers. I also like the freaking TIE Fighters, the Y-Wings. You can fly around in TIE Fighters and start murking people in the air as the Imperial Air Force or the Rebel Air Force, wherever you whatever team you're playing on but yeah overall i've been liking this game the uh it's the pod thing it's pretty simple i mean all you do is pretty much go cap the pods before the enemy team does and most pods win the game or if you max out at five pods but yeah this one right here as you can see the y wings are coming take out this shield oh and that dude just freaking wrecks it to the body nice going dude nice freaking going but we end up winning this match anyway yes yeah, spoiler alert for the this game spoiler alert, we actually win this match but yeah in other news guys in other news um treyarch actually listened to everybody listened to the community on the whole beta situation trust me they've been fixing a lot of freaking stuff and i mean a lot of stuff first thing they fixed was that freaking black hat man oh my gosh that black hat everybody hated the black hat in black ops 3 to be completely honest, my whole point on the Black Hat thing in Black Ops 3, it should be like Black Ops 2 Black Hat. Ooh, take that freaking walker out, man. Take that walker out. Straight the fuck up. Screw that walker. <laughs> Damn, I'm a little cursing a little bit today. My bad, guys. But, yeah, guys. Black Ops 3, they've been listening to us. They nerfed the Black Hat. It's to where now you have to be more accurate with it. It takes longer for you to actually hack something, depending on what score streak you're hacking. Like, bigger score streaks will take longer to hack. And also, you actually come up on the radar if you're hacking something, and it takes a very long time. So that makes the Black Hat kind of, kind of not useful, guys. I mean, at first, it was extremely OP because, dude, oh my god, I would get the Wraith, the freaking Hater, and stuff like that. And they would just immediately hack it, and I have to shoot down my own damn score streaks. I mean, that's a little messed up. 
but then they nerfed it to shit to where no one would use it. In my own opinion, they should nerf the Black Hat and Black Ops 3 to be the Black Hat and Black Ops 2. And they also addressed the view kick. They also addressed the view kick. They said there wasn't going to be view kick in the game, but there was in the beta. But they said it was, they didn't put that there intentionally. It was something wrong with the coding. Like something was messing with the coding that will make you have view kick and stuff like that. But they said they fixed it. Hopefully they do fix it because no one likes view kick, man. I sure as hell hate view kick. It's really annoying. I'm tired of running toughness all the damn time in every Call of Duty. It's freaking annoying. Like, back in Advanced Warfare, they said Toughness wasn't a must-run perk, but let's be honest, Toughness was a must-run perk, and so was Blast Suppressor. I mean, come on now. And speaking of Advanced Warfare, I know, guys, this is just a random commentary. I'm just talking about a bunch of random stuff, as you could tell probably by the title of the video. But yeah, Advanced Warfare, right as I was downloading the Battlefront beta, I downloaded it on my birthday. Yeah, guys, my birthday finally freaking passed October 8th. I turned freaking 21. Yeah, the big 2-1. My whole family made a big deal about it. Da, 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 da. But yeah, guys, I downloaded the Battlefront beta on the 8th. And right as I was downloading the beta, I was like, hey, screw it. Might as well hop on Advanced Warfare with a couple of my friends real quick. And the message of the day pops up. Y'all know how every time you go up to Advanced Warfare, the message of the day pops up. Well, yeah, the message of the day freaking pops up. And it says... Double XP weekend with air quotes weekend from October 8th to October 12th. Oh my gosh. And this guy's right here. I go complete ham right in this right. I go complete ham right here. Take out a bunch of dudes. That's like the third dude I take out. I take out a couple more. Oh, take that dude out the fourth. Oh, son. Oh, in the fifth. Oh, son, man. Like I said, this game is freaking awesome. But yeah, guys, on the message of the day, it said the double XP weekend with air quotes is going to be from October 8th to October 12th. And I just found that a little strange that it's that's the exact dates of the Battlefront beta being out. I mean, isn't that a little strange? And it wasn't even double XP weekend because it started on a Thursday. So how can they call it double XP weekend, you might ask? I don't know. I just think it's a way for Sledgehammer games to get people to play their game. And guys, I mean, they're desperate. I mean, I've realized by now, Sledgehammer games are desperate as hell for people to play Advanced Warfare. They are desperate as hell. They're trying to do anything to get people to play Advanced Warfare. And guys, like I've been saying in past videos, dude, no one is playing Advanced Warfare. I am dead freaking serious. Like, I've hopped on Advanced Warfare. I can only find team death matches. And half the time, I can't even find a team deathmatch game. I really can't. I usually have to go and party up with my friends. It even got so bad to where random people would invite me because I would hop into a lobby with like two freaking people. I would back out. Then they would send me an invite. I mean, they're just trying to find a they're just trying to find a lobby. They're just trying to invite people to get some lobbies going. I mean, sledgehammer, sledgehammer. Y'all gotta y'all gotta chill out, dude. Trust me. Once Black Ops Three hits. Uh, freaking Advanced Warfare is going to be dead. More dead than it is already. Trust me. Sledgehammer games. Uh, Advanced Warfare right now. It is dead. Seriously. No one is playing that. I find matches quicker in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I mean, I even find unhacked lobbies faster in Wool at War and COD 4 than I do in finding a team deathmatch in Advanced Warfare. I mean, it's getting that bad, guys. I mean, I cannot find a freaking lobby in Advanced Warfare. But don't worry, guys. Black Ops 3 is almost here. We just have to wait less. It's less than a month away, guys. It's less than a month, and everybody's psyched for it. I'm freaking psyched for it. But like I said, guys, if y'all have not tried this Battlefront beta yet, I highly recommend it. Y'all go out and get it. It is completely free, and it's just all around fun. You get three game modes. Two of the game modes I said were fun as hell. They're both multiplayer, and but the single-player co-op thing is really repetitive, and it's really, really slow. But yeah, guys, that about wraps up today's video. If y'all liked the video, please leave a like, and please subscribe for more content. It's the Jagger. I'm signing off. See you around.